sin theta raised to power 6 plus cos theta raised to power 6 plus 3 sin square theta in multiplication with cos square theta is equal to 1. Now let us consider left hand side of this identity. The first term is sin theta raised to power 6 or you can say sin 6 theta. It can be written as sin square theta raised to power 3 or sin square theta cube. The cos 6 theta can be written as cos square theta cube. The next term is 3 sin square theta cos square theta. Okay. Now look at the first two terms of left hand side. We can use identity a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b whole multiplied by a square plus b square minus a b here assuming a as sine square theta and b as cos square theta. So we can write LHS is equal to for the first two term a plus b which is sine square theta plus cos square theta then a square a square is sine square theta square then b square it is cos square theta square then minus of a into b which is sine square theta in multiplication with cos square theta so this is all about the first two terms the last term is plus 3 sine square theta cos square theta now we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so the first term is 1 then sine square theta square is sine 4 theta similarly it is cos 4 theta then minus sine square theta cos square theta plus 3 sine square theta cos square theta we can simplify it we can open the bracket we will get sine raised to power 4 theta or simply sine 4 theta plus cos theta raised to power 4 then sine square theta cos square theta in addition with thrice of sine square theta cos square theta now minus of sine square theta cos square theta and plus 3 sine square theta cos square theta the result is plus 2 sine square theta cos square theta so it is sine theta raised to power 4 cos theta raised to power 4 plus 2 sine square theta cos square theta we can rearrange the terms like sine 4 theta is sine square theta raised to power 2 it is cos theta raised to power 4 it can be written as cos square theta square then twice of sine square theta and cos square theta here we, we can use identity a square plus b square plus twice of a b is equal to a plus b whole square where a stands for sine square theta and b stands for cos square theta so lhs will be a square that is sine square theta a plus b which is cos square theta whole square sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so it is 1 square so lhs is equal to 1 which is rhs itself